What's good with YouTube? Today we're going to be talking about the best shooting badges for guys and forests. So that's going to be shot creators and spot ups. We're going to get right into it though. Just hit that like button, hit that sub button, and hit them post notices too. So the first badge is going to be Agent 3, the most important badge. You want to have this maxed out. If you only get it on silver, perfectly fine, bro. Throw it on silver. And bronze, I'm going to let y'all know right now, bro. Like, some some bronze badges in this game just is not good and bronze agent 3 is gonna be one of those i wouldn't put on bronze agent 3 unless you got like just extra shooting badges and everything but that's probably for another video like if you're on a lockdown or a center i got you on another video so you definitely want to max this out again at least on silver gold and hall of fame is bro way better though like i'm not even gonna lie with silver agent three, you're gonna be perfectly fine. Like I know a lot of six seven, six eight, six nines. They all a lot of people got silver, bro. You feel me? But you gotta have other badges stacked up with it. You feel me? Like you gotta have about three or four. Yeah, I say probably like three or four gold to Hall of Fame badges. You feel me? And you're gonna be perfectly fine, bro. But again, max this out if you can. The number two badge, green machine. Since you got a green every shot in this game to make it, you definitely want to have on this badge. And really, I would say literally everybody, bro. Like, there's no reason you don't got on green machine, bro. Like, unless you're an inside center and you just don't shoot at all, bro. Green machine is going to work from the mid range to the three. You definitely want to have this on and max it out. Hall of Fame Green Machine is really different. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. But you wanna have this at least on gold. If you only get it on silver, it's cool, but really, bro, you wanna you wanna aim for gold. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah for a fact. If you only got maybe like cause you do need an 82 for gold, bro. You feel me? So I ain't gonna lie, like if you only get silver, you good. But the number four badge, actually, you feel me? Cause we gonna equip these tier one and tier twos. The number four badge is going to be Volume Shooter. It's another one ahead of that, though. You feel me? We're going to get to that in a second. But Volume Shooter is really going to activate on literally every shot, bro. Like, every shot but your first shot. So Volume Shooter is going to give you a decent boost to your third shot. So even if you don't take a lot of shots, I still will use Volume Shooter. If you take a lot of shots, you got to have this badge on, like, bro. And I would say... This is another badge that's really for everybody. Unless you low on badges and everything, you feel me? You might have to switch the setup up a little bit, but definitely want to have this as high as possible. Golden Hall of Fame is where you want to be at, though. And the number three badge. So it go Agent 3, Green Machine, then Blinders, and then Volume Shooter. So Blinders, definitely a great badge. I know a lot of people think they don't need blinders because it activates on somebody on the side of you when you're shooting and everything. But, bro, like, it's, it, this activates in so many situations, bro. Like, you feel me? Like, it could be a late contest and they pretty much jump by you or they run by you and everything. Or, you feel me? You could crab somebody blinders that going to activate. It's, it's really just such a wide range, you feel me, that blinders is going to activate, bro. And... Blinders, I would say you want to have this maxed out. Like, whatever you got it on, bro, max this out. This is a great badge. If you only get it on bronze, the boost on bronze for blinders is actually bigger than the bronze boost on Agent 3. You feel me? So, I actually would put this on over Agent 3, like, if you only get it bronze. But, again, you feel me? I got another video for the lockdowns and the centers. You feel me? If y'all only getting bronze. But, for silver... You only need an 83 ball. I would say yeah, yeah, a lot of people still do got bronze. But you feel me? I still would throw it on bronze. At least silver on this badge, though. Gold and Hall of Fame, though, is <laughs> like really hitting. We're going to put that on. And quarter agent three. The next badge. So these are the top four right here, bro. The next badge really I ain't gonna lie, bro, yo, it, it might, yeah, 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 it might be a tie between the next one, I'm gonna show y'all, bro, but Deadeye, this is gonna be a great badge, too, you definitely wanna equip this, and Deadeye, it's only gonna activate when, when somebody, um, so, 
if they already standing in your face, you can't just pull up and get a dead eye shot, bro. Like, you got to be open when you start the shot or it, it got to be like a like a light can test, you feel me, when you start the shot. But you feel me, they, they just got to close in on you and everything. But then the dead eye going to activate. But it's pretty much only for when somebody like directly in front of you to like uh, maybe a foot to the left, foot to the right and everything. It's a small range, like way smaller than blinders. But the thing about it is you can actually activate blinders and Deadeye at the same time. So it's super fire, bruh. And then even on top of that, it's going to activate in a lot of situations where like somebody might come from behind you or on the side of you. And they like you might think it's only going to be blinders. But when you release the ball and everything, like maybe they hand got like right in front of you and everything bruh and like it's just gonna be more situations where that's gonna activate that y'all just might not be thinking about bruh not even gonna lie like and when you pulling up from like super deep and everything bruh like you definitely gonna need these badges to stack because the further you are away from the rim the lower your three percentage and everything so you gonna need the badges to stack up and bruh like i just crabbed somebody the other day crazy bro. like on on a fast break I think I had somebody down there leaking too. Like, you feel me? I, I should have passed it, but you feel me? I pulled up. Like, they threw it to me first. As soon as I got past the half, bro, I just caught it and, and let it fly. Like, probably like a few steps past the half, bro. Let it fly and blinders activated. Dead eye activated. I didn't even have on limitless range, bro. Green machine activated. So, bro, <laughs> like, yo, I'm trying to tell you. These some good badges and... A lot of people sleep on the dead eye too. Like you might think you don't need it, bro. If you got enough badge points, throw this badge on. Even on bronze, dead eye do hit. Silver and gold, definitely where you want to be at though. Again, like if you got enough badges to put on bronze, again, like dead eye on bronze is better than Agent Three on bronze. Not gonna hold you. So the next badge, these the top five right here, bro. But. I kind of would say you can't go without the bronze at least on the on a clutch shooter, bro. This is a great patch. Like the, the only thing about it is, like if you're running in a wreck, it's just not gonna activate until like the last two or three minutes of the fourth quarter. Like I feel like I got it to activate it around like two minutes and thirty seconds, but I know for a fact under two minutes, bro, it's definitely gonna activate. And on bronze, you get a, you get a big boost on bronze. Like again, <laughs> this this badge, even though it's a tier one, it's a way bigger boost than the uh, the bronze agent three. Like I ended a lot of games, bro. <laughs> you feel me with this badge? And I really recommend you go silver on it if you can, but at least bronze, bro. At least bronze. Trust me, bro. <laughs> you feel me? Them late game situations is definitely gonna hit but like if you run at 3v3 2v2 anything like that bro 1v1 bro anything bro clutch shooter is gonna go crazy because you you run at games up to 21 you feel me so you getting a lot more activation versus somebody that's playing in a wreck and they only getting it to activate the last two minutes bro like that's a super small percentage of the game bro. not even gonna lie but when you in a park, clutch shooter is going to activate like 33% of the game versus somebody in a wreck. It's only going to activate 10% of the game. You feel me? So just letting y'all know, but great badge, bro. Again, go silver if you can, bro. The next badge, I would say we really going to talk about this amped badge first, though, bro. So amp, a lot of people think that you need amp you really don't need it the thing about it is if if you're not taking shots where you got literally only 50 percent stamina bro you do not need this badge bro because it will not activate like you could be low on stamina if you got 60 percent stamina this badge is not gonna activate like bro i i have multiple builds where th th this badge has never activated like bro like like I'm I'm looking at the uh at, at the core uh at the core uh status and everything, like seeing my progress and everything. Like, bro, the bar is way down there at the bottom. Like, 
Like, you feel me? And I was running with it on silver, on multiple bills, bro. If you taking shots while you're tired, bro, power to you, you feel me? You definitely could throw that on. But I really just wouldn't recommend it because you might not know this, bro, but you probably do not need it. You feel me? Again, that's up to you, though. If you taking shots with blinking red stamina, go ahead, throw that badge on. It's definitely going to work. You feel me? I got to let you know. It is a good badge. You feel me? You do want to have it on at least silver. At least silver. You feel me? For the uh, for the hit, but you really gotta have that higher. Cause the thing about Ant, like if you don't know already, you feel me? I know I know a lot of people just got the game and anything. You feel me? So Ant is like your your shot speed slow down when you shoot and when you're tired and everything, bro. So Ant is pretty much going open up your green like your shot speed and your three point percentage go down. So Amp is going to boost your percentage, but it's not going to speed up your shot and everything. It's just going to open your green window back up. So just got to explain to y'all. I, I don't think it's a bad badge. It just might not activate for y'all. Don't want to confuse y'all, bro. But the next badge, I would say... Oh, bro, my fault. Catch and shoot. You feel me? So everything else, you feel me, we got on here, bro, for, for uh, straight shot creators. If you are uh, uh, spot up... You definitely want to have on this catch and shoot badge and i would say at least bronze on that bro you feel me like if you spotting up at a high rate you definitely want to go silver to gold bro i know a lot of people not getting the hall of fame you need 93 some people do get the hall of fame but i wouldn't even say you need to use all of those badge points bro unless you really just spot up bro you feel me but catch and shoot definitely a good badge I'm rocking it on bronze, not not on bronze, my fault. I'm rocking it on silver right now, and it's definitely hitting. You feel me? Like when you catch it around that range, like before your limit is range, to where catch and shoot is still activating, because catch and shoot actually don't activate in the limit is range. So if you're too far, it's not gonna activate. But if you just about right, bro, you you feel me? You could be a few feet past the three point line, and you feel me? It's still gonna activate, but. If you more than a few feet, it just might not activate. But definitely a good badge. Claymore. Fire, bruh. <laughs> the thing about Claymore is it's in a tier one. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, I, I would say you definitely want to have this at least on bronze. It's good on bronze for real, for real, bruh. So you feel me? You definitely could throw that on. We're going to put them to. Yeah, we good right here. So that's really... Yeah, everything we got on so far, I would say, is badges that you need. The only thing about Claymore and Catch and Shoe is just, you, you really don't need those, bruh. Like, even if you spotting up, you if you got all these other badges on, you do not need those. But, they tier 2 and the tier 1, bruh. So, it, it don't cost that much to put them badges on. I definitely would throw them on. So we are gonna get to the rest of the badges. Next, I would say Midi Magician, bro, cause Midi Magician is a great badge. If you shoot midis like that, especially for like bigger builds, small fours even, power fours mainly, and centers, you definitely wanna have on this Midi Magician. If you shoot fades, like, I know some people that shoot, uh, like a lot of midi fades and everything. Some people going crazy with the KD fade and everything, <laughs> yo. Like, I ain't even gonna lie, that's, that's, a, that's a tough animation. But, Midi Magician is definitely gonna be fire. You do wanna have this on. And, I would say silver, like, bronze, to me, bronze, bronze Midi Magician just, it, it's not hitting like that. But, silver is good. You definitely wanna go higher if you can, cause it's in the tier one, bro. It's a super cheap badge. I do rock it on Hall of Fame sometime, and... You feel me? You notice it when you got it on Hall of Fame, bro. For real, for real. The next badge. Oh, we got to get to the Limitless Range, bro. Limitless Range is a great badge. The only thing is, a lot of people just really don't shoot from out there. So, you could possibly have this on and really not be activating it at all, bro. For real, for real. But, y'all know who y'all is, bro. You feel me? You know if you shooting from Limitless Range and you really getting it to activate... Bro, yeah, yeah, keep that on, bro. It's definitely a great badge. You want to put it on. Oh, Limitless Range is actually noticeably 
I wouldn't say noticeably good, but it's noticeable on bronze, bro. Like, you can't hit from the limitless range on bronze. And again, your Agent 3 is not going to be activating when you're in the limitless, limitless range. And your three point percentage go down too. You feel me? So, you got to take both of those into account. Bronze is going to give you a decent boost, but again, you got to have a bunch of other badges stacked up. And you really want to go for silver, bro. Like, just saying you can't hit with it on bronze you just, just got to make sure you're timing it right bro but go as high as possible the next badge space crater this is a great badge a lot of people just not using like uh like hop shots and like shot crater type moves because space crater not gonna activate off hot backs or nothing like that bro like this is really just off shot crater moves like you feel me so the next badge yeah yeah i would say the rest of these badges is just not badges you're gonna be equipping really but slippery off bar i'm really trying to test it right now to see if it's if you should ever use it but no nah, i would like bruh it, it's this not really gonna help you bruh like if you just got a couple extra shooting badges and you literally got everything on golden hall of fame bruh maybe or you feel me if you're a big man and you just cut to the rack definitely can throw that on guard up this badge is horrible like bro this this badge never activate bro i tried this so many times <laughs> you feel me it's just not a good badge bro it, it just don't activate but comeback kid comeback kids you actually get a, a good boost but like i haven't I, I don't use it but i have tried it you feel me i have tried it and been down before you feel me came back and won the game bro for real for real but I'm really just not down. Like, you got to be down seven for comeback kid to activate. And that's in any game mode. So, Brad, like, I'm not about to be down seven in 3v3. I'm not about to be down seven for long in the wreck. You feel me? If I even get down seven, for real, for real. Like, with the randoms, it do be crazy. So, like, if you run with randoms, I would say you could put comeback kid on. If you run with randoms, and you be losing. You feel me? You feel me? Y'all know who y'all is, bro. But... You definitely could throw that on. Corner specialists do not waste your badge points on this badge. It has a 0% boost on Hall of Fame, bro. Like, it literally don't work. But, you feel me? These, all I would say, is the main badges you want to use. And, yeah, we're going to put these two on Mini Magician. So, every badge you see equipped is definitely going to be badges you want to look into. If y'all was paying attention, you feel me? I know it exactly in what order. But... I hope I helped y'all out a little bit. I got another setup coming for y'all, you feel me? If you, you feel me on a different type of build and everything. But I'm going to hit y'all on the next one. Just hit that like button and hit that sub button.